Eagle. Sup. You have to say something, man. You're just into the camera. Ridiculous. Dude just zoomed right into his face. It was bizarre and creepy. People are weird. Hello. Hi. How fare thee this evening? You can't just say hi and dip. I mean, you can't. That's the whole point of this app. What's up? Yo. How you doing, bro? Good. How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm just sitting with my pup here and talking to strangers on the interwebs. Yeah, the glasses are fire. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. I do my best to look stylish even when I'm relaxing at home. Yeah. Do you watch any football today? Yeah. Which teams? Who are you, who are you sh- oh. shooting for? Or cheering for, I, I should like say. The Panthers and the Falcons one. And I watched the Broncos one. Broncos won theirs, if I'm not mistaken, right? Same with the Falcons. No, the Raiders beat the Broncos. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I was watching that game. I thought the Broncos were going to take it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And then I think the Panthers put up a good fight, but they lost to the Falcons in the end because of the turnovers. Yeah. This was like 10-10 in the damn game, and then they decided to throw four picks and then fucking... <laughs> That's how it goes. Four, four picks, it'll be the end of any team's offense. Yeah. Just about, anyways. I'm a big fan of Cleveland, if you couldn't tell. Cleveland went crazy today. Not gonna lie. Yeah, no, taking out the Bengals and holding them to three points was insane. I, I, I was baffled. The fact that uh, Joe Burrow, I, I'm pretty sure he, he barely or just got, uh, barely or didn't pass 100 yards. Uh, for yeah. Pat, which is insane for him, and Jamar Chase got held to below fifty, which is also insane, or just above it. The I feel like the main reason that they were doing so good was because of their defense. Their defense oh, for sure. Walk. Cleveland, Cleveland got a new uh, defensive coordinator this season. Uh, I think his name's Jim Schwartz, and that it was on lockdown. Didn't get create yeah. a lot of turnovers, but limited uh, touchdown or limited touchdowns and allowed only one score the entire game. Which, if I if our I, defense can do that year round, I'll be happy. I'll be real happy. I feel like a, a Super Bowl contending team this year. I hope so. I mean, I I didn't want it to be behind Watson, but here we are. Such is life. Yeah. But. Their offense was doing good, too. Yeah, Nick Chubb is a powerhouse. Uh, Watson had one interception but looked comf- more comfortable in the pocket and was able to you know, get a few rushes in. I think he ran for like 45 yards. So it yeah. all works out. Do you run any fantasy? Uh, not really, no. Nah. Mm. I used to, and I stopped when I hit 900. Okay. Um. I just stopped because I was sick and tired of wasting money on people. I got you. Yeah, most of the time I try to do just – it was free to play fantasy, but this year they we were doing like I think it's 20 bucks a person for the one league I'm in. So I'm just I'm, – I'm happy. I'm content with that. 30, 20 bucks is, is like the cap I think for me. Yeah, I put 900 on one. Nine hundred dollars? Yeah. Damn. And I, I lost. That's rough. I've definitely I've probably lost that much in betting like overall. Like I, I use FanDuel way too much and I take some risky bets. I had an eleven eleven way parlay today that for fifteen dollars that if it, it all went my way I would have won forty four grand. But sadly, really? yeah, but I didn't get it, obviously. If, if you got it, you wouldn't be on the right now. You'd be doing a... I'd probably be, I'd be going, I'd be going to the city to celebrate a little bit or do something. Yeah. That would have been dope, but 
again, it just didn't go my way this week. Maybe next time. Yeah. Well, hey, man, I hope you have a nice night. Thanks for chatting with me. Yeah, you too. Stay safe out there. All right, you too. Hello. How goes it? How are you? Sing. Can you sing? Sing? No. I am a terrible singer. I have the voice of a goat. Why did you have makeup on? I'm not wearing makeup. I'm just sitting here. Uh, oh, microphone. Did you mean microphone? Yeah. Oh, because I thought it would be easier to hear me with. It's just a more quality a sound. It's better sound. But I digress. And they left. They just left. They wanted me to sing. I can't sing, chat. I'm not a good singer a against a dark screen. How bizarre. Hello, sir. How fare thee? Oh, one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Headphones. Oh, le guitar coming on. Okay. I'm not a good singer, by the way. Oh, he just showed me his guitar and left. I was getting excited. I was like, oh, we, we about to break it down. It's like I could give it an attempt, give it enough courage, but yeah, it's surprisingly on Omegle as well. Put a shirt on, you freak. Hello, sorry, that was for the last guy. There was some weird pervert on this. You got a good setup. Oh, hang on. One moment. Apologies. There we go. Oh, now we're comfortable. That's a hundred times. That's just sunglasses. But do you like video your like Omegle? Like interact yeah, with no, I, do, I try to. I try to interact with people and have a decent time if it's not like, you know, small children or perverts, which seems to be 99% of... Their dicks down. Well, yeah, that's the pervert side. That's 99% oh, yeah. of the people on um, this website, which is sad. Well, can you tell us a joke? Because you look like a funny man. Sure, knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know, but you better answer the door. Oh my god. You know what? You wanna you wanna hear a joke from Pulp Fiction I heard yesterday? I've seen Pulp Fi Pulp Fiction numerous times, so yes. Oh, so you know the joke? Most likely. Okay. I think okay, I think this is how it goes. There's mama tomato, papa tomato, and baby tomato. Mm hmm And they were walking and the baby tomato was like going too slow. So the papa tomato comes up and like squishes him, he's like, catch up. Why'd you leave? It was just... I didn't really relish that joke. That's from Pulp Fiction. You can't blame me. I feel like you... I didn't relish the joke enough. That's why. But on, What's relish mean? The condiment you put on hot dogs sometimes. Like if you're a crazy person. Oh my god. That was you didn't even get it. I had to explain the joke, so now it doesn't even make sense. It's no, terrible. It, no, it does make sense. I'm laughing now. That was, that was funny. That was funny. There we go. I'm a very, I'm a Anything conversational else? humorist. Not I, I did used to do stand up. I auditioned for America's Got Talent once upon a time. <gasps> but, really, that's so cool. Is, is it on YouTube? No, no. I see. They only show like a very, very small portion of the people. There are yeah, I thousands of people. I was in a room with about thirteen other people. Right. Uh, with one of their like producers, and obviously didn't make it to the to the judging stage. Uh, the one dude I do remember, and I don't know if he made it to the stage, um, was a dude who Mongolian throat sang Adele's "Hello," which was intense and beautiful, <laughs> to say the um, least. Can I ask you a question? By all means, please. Yeah, I want you to. You know how they have like those podcast things where it's like they're interviewing people? I would like you to interview me. Interview? Okay. One moment. <laughs> like, let me, give me a good interview. Just, just give me two seconds. <clears throat> okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the one and only Blankety Blank on the Omegle. Blankety Blank, how are you this, this fine, fine Sunday evening? 
my name is Sarah, and I'm doing absolutely wonderful, Jimmy. Sarah, coming at you live from my apartment. Now, Sarah, <laughs> what do you like to do in your spare time? What are your hobbies? What do you get up to when you're not busting your ass on the Omegle, talking to the people <laughs> of the world? Well, you know, I get, you know, I get around, um... I what? Will... That is not the right answer. And boyfriend, asking right answer. asking no! for an I'm interview, not... asking for an interview, and her response to what does she do? Oh, I get around. <laughs> that is not no! what she does. Get around? No, Question get mark? Around, like, with people, I get, like, I, I go, I go. Travel. I yeah. <clears throat> I live in the mountains. I paint. Um. What else do I like to do? I like to... Why are you asking me what you like to do? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, sir, in the background. out loud what I like to do. Thank you. I did? Yes, you did. Full conversation in the interview. It's live (laughs) on the podcast. (laughs) To the whole world. To my tens of fans, they are now going to see this. Oh, well. Ask me more questions. What I'm trying to get there, you keep interrupting. (laughs) This interview is going terribly, Sarah. Anyways, what do you do for work? How do you pay the bills? Girl, let me tell you. I work at a summer job at a pizza place. I don't have a job at the moment, and I am going broke. So. Such is life. Are you attending school at all? And if so, what are you studying? I am, and I my major is business. Fuck. <coughs> You're Sorry, business me. fuck? No. I didn't know that was a major. But uh, no, it's right, and we're back at it. <laughs> business. What made you want to get into business? Well, he's smoking the devil's lettuce. Stop him at once. <laughs> well, the thing is, tobacco. That's just how I smoke tobacco. Um. Sure. There's not. There's literally nothing I wanted to do, and nothing I was good at, and I'm nothing I was passionate about. So fuck uh-huh. it. So that I did. Business. And you, yeah. You can do a lot with business. I recommend getting taking some classes with a specialization in digital marketing with the amount of That's websites. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Good. That's a good... We just it's went a, to, a, we just went to a, a conference that's talking all about that. Per, so well, I work in digital get, marketing, so this makes perfect sense. Awesome. Nice. Yes. It's a, an incredibly it, you know, just developing field with just how many websites yeah. are constantly being built. Um, oh, yeah. So it's a smart avenue to get into, and there's always job opportunities everywhere. I would recommend Upwork as well. Um, they offer a lot of like SEO, uh, email sense, uh, and Shopify, Squarespace type stuff to, you know, essentially you will get paid to help people build their websites. And if you do a good enough job, you can add that to your portfolio and just grow that ever, ever so much. And eventually... Yeah. Once you, you know, after you work at a, you know, digital marketing position, get so such and such amount of jobs on Upwork, you can start considering doing running your own marketing firm. And then you basically sell your skills to the highest bidder. Cool. I like that. That's just a thought. That's just one avenue of what you could do with digital marketing. There's a multitude of different things you can do for it. Okay. Reverse interview. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Um, have you ever taken Python, and how did you like it? Is Python a drug? Python programming, like the class. Oh, Python pro. No. I went to school for uh, writing as an English major, like an idiot. Oh. I thought that you said that you're into digital marketing. Yes, because writing doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Sadly. Really? Although, you- technically, okay. I am a, I'm a blog writer for our company, so I still use my degree to some extent. It's not fully really? useless. Yes. So I'm assuming you like to read. Is you a writer, right? Or no? I love to read. I love to write. I love to consume literature. That's not, the only literature I read is Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover, fair enough. I'd recommend uh, Hugh Howry, Christopher Poloni. Um, what about Nicholas Sparks? No, not Nicholas Sparks. Margaret Atwood. <laughs> <laughs> well, not fuck. I just I've never I've never read any of their work. Um, I'd also recommend, and if you enjoy writing at all, and on some occasion just go into a Barnes and Noble or you know your local newsstand or what have you, 
and just pick out something random. Don't go into your wheelhouse, discover something new, expand your knowledge into something that's uncommon. I feel so scholarly right now. Yeah, you the man. I really appreciate. Like, I I don't even write or do what she does or what you do or I'm interested, but I'm loving uh, this. Well, fair enough. If you like the stuff, then just you know tune into the stream. I'm streaming on Absolutely. TikTok, and um, I was streaming on hey, Twitch. What's your take? Let me follow you right quick on TikTok. Oh, do you just give out advice? I try to. I, I mean, I rock with that. I, I'm I give out advice. I mean, most of what I've posted has been gaming content because um, I have like a full PC. Oh, it's just Big Rich X. My name is Rich, by Big the way. Rich not X? my yes. My name is Rich, by the way, not Jimmy. You called me Jimmy ah. at the beginning of this interview, like many of the Sorry, other Jimmys. That's the first name. Now, Jimmy is a very right. common late night host name, so it makes sense. Yes. But Big, um. Big Big Rich checks. X like X, X marks the spot X. because my content is the treasure. Big. I like that. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Um, what was um, I gonna say? I have, I have a question, and I can't. I also can't remember what I was gonna ask you. You go ahead and think of yours first. Will do. But no, I mainly po have mainly been posting gaming content because I Ooh, love. What do you play? I play a lot of Call of Duty, Warhammer Three. Oh, um. Cool. I'm a variety streamer at heart, so if a game interests okay. me, I'll play it. I just reinstalled Warframe. I play Destiny 2, Red Dead Redemption, oh, okay. um, so Stick Fight. Actually. Yeah, everything, anything and everything under the sun, I probably have played it or at least heard of it. Gotcha. But I'm going to be doing more content for like the next month or so because I'm at my brother's apartment and not my home setup. So here we are. Welcome to the live. And thank you for following the stream. I appreciate it. I so I so love you, dude. You better Thank rock you. on. I'm just trying to be a content creator. I love that. I wish I want to be a content creator. Like, All you, you I'm be... literally. You just need a phone and a and with a camera on it, and you can start doing content. If you think it's a good idea, start making efforts to push to it. Because not everything you do is going to be perfect. You're not gonna. It's not going to hit every single time. But in the age-old adage, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I try to upload regularly because I see it as like a lottery <coughs> ticket. That one video could take me to the very tippity top, or it won't, nine times out of ten. But I mean, you got to start something. I'm, I post every day on my TikTok, and there you it go. never goes nowhere. Well, it's just all about trying something different then. Do you just you post like makeup tutorials, how to do your hair? Do you do comedy, gaming? There's you could literally just use templates and make memes. You it's it's all about just trying something different. Like I'm doing this. I usually play video games. I'm sorry, I usually play video games and stuff and you know, I'm commentating for Call of Duty matches and doing play by play, but now I'm just talking to random people on the internet. Which I have done before, well, but not in a while. That's cool. I you try? love to be an influencer, not to be like popular or famous, but I really want to like talk about like, you know, beauty stuff and like. Podcasts you know. are everywhere now. You can get a decent well, I, USB microphone for like under a hundred bucks, I think. It's just, I know it wouldn't go anywhere, like trust like it would not. I I know it because you I You never know. Like for years. I you start a podcast with that young man behind you and may start something. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, young man, what is um, your name, sir? Will. Yeah, young man, what is your name? Okay, sir? Sarah and Will, Will and Sarah. The Will and Sarah podcast. WS. <laughs> I'm trying to think of new names now. I'm marketing for y'all. That's my whole thing. That's all what digital marketing's about. Is finding your niche. And then cutting out that part of the market and using it to your advantage. Also, I'm hearing my live stream in the background. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. I was just I like, is that my life. voice? It's it's no no trouble at all. Will and Sarah. Will and Sarah. Will and Sarah. I can't think of anything at the moment, but it'll come to me, I'm sure. Um, my dream has always been to like have a YouTube channel and be famous on there. 
and I actually did used to post vlogs, and it's funny as hell. It's cringy. It's, it's cringy, but... I started posting back in high school. I've had my YouTube channel for like 12 years now, and I'm just past 800 subscribers. Damn, I have like 14 subscribers. You just, it's all about, consi- I would recommend for YouTube, especially now that they have, like everyone's going with a TikTok format, uh, YouTube Shorts is an incredible way to grow, uh, to gain subscribers. Like I've seen the mm-hmm. most channel growth from YouTube Shorts more than, you know, long form content. So anytime you post to TikTok, you post to Instagram, you post to YouTube Shorts as well. You post everywhere. You you it's blanket coverage, so it's all Will and Sarah everywhere across all all platforms. That's cool. Like my man's back there gaming. That's that's. I mean, everyone's streaming gaming stuff nowadays. All you need to stream yeah. that is the console and the you know download the Twitch app and you're good. Yeah, why don't you stream your stuff? Because I wish I didn't suck at every game I played. I I am I am straight garbage at my games. I I, and, I know, know, but who wants to watch a Diamond Three suck at Rocket League? Like Rocket League's huge content either way. People love talking, especially to smaller streamers. Everyone, it's a more niche community than you know. I think Call of Duty to an extent, but you yeah. you start somewhere. Everyone starts with zero viewers. I've been streaming for five years and I still barely average like above five viewers if i'm lucky so it's all just that's about lovely. i mean you've got multiple income streams i'm assuming and whatnot so i mean that's dope as fuck i make a little bit on the side from my business ventures and people gave me roses on tiktok whatever that means so i guess that's a revenue yeah. stream yeah. but I, i'll buy like an arizona with that money maybe or half an arizona yeah. Yeah. but hey it's better than nothing whatever um there was this time where I um, collected ten dollars on TikTok. Amen. Like just from live streams or something, or just they gave you ten dollars. The camera froze. That is unfortunate. That hurts my soul. They seem like good people. Hello. Ah, oh, that is brutal. You finally get a decent person and the fucking camera freezes on me. Molly, do you have anything to add? Okay. Ah, uh, y'all's froze, your camera froze on me. I don't know if y'all are still here watching me on TikTok, but the camera froze for me on Omegle. That stinks. Is that your dog? It's my brother's dog. Her name's Molly. She's sleeping right now. That's why I just brought the camera to her. Or the the mic to her. Although if you don't want to see, that's her. She's just sleeping right now. Or resting. I don't know if dogs technically sleep. It's me. I know, Sarah. Thank you for popping into the TikTok live. I'm going to have to hang up our call on Omegle, though, because... Your the the whole thing froze and I don't know why. Is there a time limit to those things? Bye, Sarah. It was nice meeting you as well. Hope to see you in more of these. And if you have any questions or any further questions, just let me know in the TikTok. That's ridiculous. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Awesome. Is it clear? Is it am I too loud? Or? No, it's perfect. How you doing? Good. Let's cut to the chase. Go ahead and show me your cock. No, thank you. <laughs> but I, I do appreciate it. <sighs> How's it going? Good. Good. I don't know what any of that means, but thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ah, strange and peculiar people. That man looked absolutely psychotic. Sorry, I'm talking in my TikTok chat at the moment. I'm just here to talk to people. That's cool. How many people are watching you? Like three, I think. 
I, although to be fair, Alexander, I did pick uh, storm cloaks initially as a child because I thought they were cooler. But I soon learned I was incorrect in my ways. It's Imperials, though, almost always. Storm cloaks are Imperials, and the dude left Omegle. I'm talking to people on Omegle now. Is that the American flag, sir? Yes, sir. God bless it. How are you doing this evening? Uh, pretty good. Nice, nice. Do you watch any football this this Sunday? Yeah. You got you got a team, brother. Yeah, the Bears. Oof! How'd they fare against the the Packers? They the Bears suck right now. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Yeah, the Packers beat them. Well, at least it's not Aaron Rodgers beating them this time. It's what do they got? Jordan Love. Yeah. That's rough. Well, I don't know if he you can sucks. see my shirt, but Cleveland Browns at least won their home opener for the first time in 19 years, so it could be worse. Bears at least have some winning pedigree in their history. Yeah. You'd have to go back about, what is it, 60 years, see any yep. championship in Cleveland other than LeBron's uh, NBA Finals in 2016, which was a masterpiece. Yep. I'm not trying to be uh, you know, a LeBron maniac or anything, but I as as a Cleveland sports fan, I owe that that man everything for that championship in twenty sixteen. I mean, that's the only championship we've had. I started talking about LeBron and he left. Dude's a hater. Is this microphone okay, I, before you abandon me yet again, is it the sound from my voice going into this microphone or my webcam? Yes or no? Yes, it is coming from the mic. Fan-fucking-tastic. I've been working on these settings for like the past (laughs) half hour, and it has been so earth-shatteringly frustrating. I got you. You did my sound check. I do yours. Okay. Go for it. Okay. It's a solid, solid bass. No treble. And he left again. Hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Talking with Strangers on Omegle Part 4, probably. It's been a while since I've done this, and I also don't know if I'll be able to edit this properly. But um, have a nice night, everyone. Stay safe. Stay wonderful. Don't do anything stupid or crazy. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always... um, Have a nice night. Bye, everyone. So long. Farewell. I'm out. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.